No athletes hammer harder, bash better, or tackle tougher than football and rugby players. What we want to know is, who delivers more impact per hit? A football player with pads? Or a rugby player without them? We're going to let science settle the matter. It's pads versus no pads. First up, rugby. To find out how hard these warriors hit, we bring in the hardest ruckers around. L.A. Rugby Club. And they don't wear pads. All right, what we're looking at is the force generated by the biggest hitters in all of sports, American football players and rugby players. The question is, pads or no pads? What hurts more? No, no pads, pads, always. No pads. Rugby. One of you has to be the brave soldier to just take a huge hit. Who's it going to be? All right. Well, are you ready to uh, either get your ribs broken or for us to call an ambulance yeah. or something? He plays rugby. He'll handle it. He'll be <laughs> all right. Exactly. Let her roll. All right. To find out the force in this full-speed, no-pad collision, our scientists outfit the players with the Inform A-Pod, a cutting-edge human performance measuring system. So what we're going to do is we're going to put an instrumented headgear on you because you're being hit. And it's not really for protection, but to just really see how your head moves while you're being impacted. Right. Yeah. I'm good. I'm gonna kick your <laughs> that is about the hardest I've been hit in a long time, so. All right. So that's going to give us a good reading as to how hard you guys actually hit. Yeah, like that, that gave me an instant stomach ache. So how hard was that no pads tackle? Here's what the sensors say. Chris hit him with nearly 1,600 pounds of force, and Ellery took literally all of that. 1,600 pounds of force. That's double the force you'd feel squished between two sumo wrestlers. So what effect does that amount of force have on the body? Our motion capture technology takes us inside this devastating no pads hit. The high pass leaves the receiver open and vulnerable to a full speed tackle. And since neither the defender nor the ball carrier wear pads, nothing dissipates the force of the collision. Upon impact, Ellery feels every one of the 1,600 pounds of force he absorbs. And when the tackler and ball carrier hit the ground, all that impact concentrates on one rib, easily enough force to break it. It's no wonder why Rutgers call that a hospital pass and why they think they tackle tougher than padded-up football players. If I was to put on a helmet shoulder pads right now, I'd probably hit a moving car. Hmm. Sounds like a challenge. To see if wearing pads would really allow you to hit as hard as a car crash, we bring in one of the hardest hitters in football. Cornerback Quentin Jammer. To see if wearing pads really allows an athlete to hit as hard as a car crash, we brought in this guy. He knows a thing or two about car wrecks. The Hybrid 3 Crash Test Dummy. Crash. Crash's day job is in the automotive industry, where he measures the forces inside car collisions. He's wired with sensors that record 10,000 measurements per second. We have a regulation football helmet here. Inside, there are six accelerometers that we will use to calculate what your head sees. Are you ready to do this? Ready. All right, go.
Come on. Here we go. All right. for chest deflection, which means how far we take the sternum and displace it relative to your spine. And in this case, it was about 57 millimeters, or roughly two and a quarter inches. That's significant. I mean, the highest range we do in the automotive industry is you cannot exceed 75 millimeters or three inches. So from one impact from a football player, he generated almost two thirds of the value that we limited in a car crash. So this guy, if I put him in a car, Put a seatbelt, 35 mile an hour into a wall. I'd get those kind of numbers. You had your adrenaline pumping. You wanted to make a statement. And with the data, that's a statement. I'm a 35 mile per hour car crash waiting to happen. Quentin's 35 mile per hour car wreck smash up measured 4,800 pounds of force. That's three times as great as the rugby hit. How is Jammer able to deliver such a wall up? Our motion capture technology takes us inside this devastating hit. Fully padded, Jammer wears both physical and psychological armor, fearlessly hurtling his 204 pound body at 14 miles an hour. Quentin smashes full tilt into his opponent. Since both ball carrier and tackler wear pads, the impact disperses quickly throughout both players' bodies. Even though Jammer hits harder, the force is distributed over a wider area. The hit swells throughout the entire ribcage, which flexes and absorbs the blow, usually without breaking a rib. So in our test of pads versus no pads, the single hardest hit came from football. 4,800 pounds of force compared to 1,600 pounds. But consider this. Quentin only makes about six full tilt tackles per game. Rugby center Chris averages 18. Do the math, and they both exert about the same amount of hurt. Approximately 28,000 pounds of force per game. So football hits harder. But rugby hits more, meaning if you have to choose between football and rugby, sit that one out. Ellery, mm -hmm. thank you for donating your body to uh, science. No <laughs> Anything for science.